Hey, this is Scott from Hydro. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to make a prediction market leveraging Augur. This is going to be done using the Hydro Augur scaffold here that's set up in the Hydro Protocol SDK. Um, should just take a few minutes to kind of set up the basic framework. Um, we'll launch your own prediction market on your own server, and there's a lot of cool things that you could do with this. So uh, let's get started. I'll kind of show you, uh, walk you through the basics here. We're over here on the Hydro Protocol GitHub here, and there's a README section that will walk you through all the steps. So. I'm just going to follow along with the README and kind of talk through some of the steps here. So the prereq is you need to have Docker or Docker, Docker Compose installed. Um, so for most people, most systems like Macs and stuff, you're just going to have a regular Docker installed and it should be fine. Um, on Windows, I, it's a little bit harder, hard mode, and I'm going to do this on Windows just to, just to make it difficult. So um, I'm using the Docker Quick Start Terminal, but it should be functionally the same. Um, so let's get started here. We're going to go with step one. Uh, we're going to clone the Git repository and go here. So this is go ahead and done. And we're going to CD into the new directory. And we're going to go ahead and run step number three here, which is the Docker compose command. So what this is going to do is download all the necessary files that you need and prepare all the environments for it. Um, should probably just take a few minutes on most systems. I'm using some cache data, obviously, so it's going to take really not much time at all for me. It's already done. Um, but yeah, it should actually launch at this point, right? So this is, this is ready to go. It's running, um, if all goes well. So number four here, we're going to open the relayer and confirm that it's actually working. So let's go to localhost, launch this on localhost 3000, and here we go. So this looks kind of like a decentralized exchange if you're looking at this, which um, might not be what you think of when you think of prediction market, but it's actually quite a bit different than a, than a decentralized exchange in a lot of different ways. And I'll show that here through the markets mostly. But if you think about prediction markets, there's a lot of ways that you could actually build user interfaces around this so people could buy and sell these, these predictions. If they're gonna go long and short on something um, and one good way to do that is actually through basically a, an order book system here, like a decentralized exchange. So this is this is kind of a really basic template here. Um, you could do whatever you want in terms of building on top of this, but this includes both back end and front end here. And this is kind of populating orders. So as you're looking around the screen, you see a lot of things going on, but one of the things I want to highlight here is the markets. So we set up three markets to actually mirror the three different types of orders on Augur. So if you go to Augur Guide, uh, you'll see there's three types of orders. There's yes, no, categorical, and scalar markets. Um, so we've kind of set that up here. So this is a yes, no. Will an Asia's team win the International Dota 2 Championships 2019? So this is, this is a very Dota oriented here. Um, you're betting long, then you're betting yes. If you're betting short, you're betting no, right? And there's going to be a market for, for each of these, right? So we're for the for the purposes of this demo, we just have a market maker basically running on a law, and this is all fake data. Um, there's stuff going on on the bottom here, and I'm going to move my head out of the way to open this up and let you see a little bit better. Um, this basically describes the details of this, and yeah, you know what happens for yes, what constitutes a no, that type of thing. But this is just one type, this is yes or no. In addition, there's like, uh, which team will win the Dota 2 competition. So this is categorical, right? So we have multiple different teams that you could select. So we've you know, populated a few, a few of these here. Um, similar kind of idea, there would be a market for each of these different, uh, different teams, right? And again, this is fake data, this is just kind of a general structure. The last one is the, uh, the scalar one. So this one's the, the, the complicated version of, of uh, you know, prediction market order. So this one, again, you have a long and a short. Um, so you're saying, is it going to be higher than X number or shorter than X number? But this is kind of what this data looks like. And we have a little maker set up on this as well. So all three uh, types of orders are supported by Hydro naturally. So we, we have that all kind of worked up, uh, together already. So in any case, uh, that's the basic kind of setup here. Um, we're going to do some actual trading and stuff just to kind of show the power of the system and, and test it out a little bit, make sure it works, right? So next step here, we're gonna set up the vault and the address. So this is launched on my local server. So it's on localhost 8545. So let's go ahead and change our directory here, or our network in MetaMask. And then we've actually set up a wallet for you so that you can do some trades and don't have to like figure out how to get all these tokens and stuff on this private network. So uh, we're just gonna copy this private key. Over here, we're going to go into MetaMask. We're going to import an account and paste your private key. And ta-da, we have this account all set up. So we're nice and rich, right? Um, 
So we got uh, lots of tokens and stuff going on, F with all this stuff. It's not worth noting that we have this set up with WEF, but there's actually other ways that you could set this up as well. We do have a deposit structure in Hydra that you could use as well that does not use WEF. So, um, so there's that, but this does come with a wrap, unwrap, if you're familiar with this interface. All right, so let's do the basic thing. Let's just make some trades. Um, this is, again, we're gonna say, yes, um, we think that an Asia's team is gonna win this championship. And so let's, let's, let's get some of these long tokens in here, right? We're going long on Asia's teams. Price is over here. Let's put in 0.63 and let's buy like 500 long tokens. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and buy it now. What's gonna happen when we do a buy, if you've used decentralized exchange, this is gonna look familiar, but basically MetaMask, you're gonna sign your order to say that you're okay with this. You click sign, it says they're successfully created. And the order's populated over here. Um, I'm going to just buy, I'm gonna turn my screen off so you can see this a little bit better. Uh, the, the video is off. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like here. Right? So we actually put in for 500 and now we have down to 440 because we've already filled a bunch of these individual orders. The market maker is, we, we basically traded. So you can see this big order here is sitting here and as our maker bot, our fake maker bot here kind of runs, it's gonna continuously trade into this and keep giving me more and more. You can see my long here is, is all set up and we'll just go ahead and sell some of it just for the sake of showing the power of this. Uh, we're gonna enable it. This is using token, token allowance permissions. We've done that now. You can enable, disable this little toggle. And now that we've enabled it, we can sell it. Um, let's put a sell order here for, uh, let's see, we have a buy order here. Let's see, if we want to sell for a profit, tiny profit, right? Let's do this 60 and we'll sell. Again, it's gonna ask for a transaction and sign and cool. So we have, now we're, we're these, these two orders. This is us, right? Um, one thing to note is when you actually, the way that this system is set up, the way the Hydra system is set up is when you do place orders and cancel orders even, it doesn't cost a gas fee. It doesn't, it, this, is, this is free to do. The only time gas is actually used is when orders happen or transactions happen, two trades are matched together. So it's an off-chain kind of uh, order book and off-chain matching and an on-chain settlement. Of course, my chain is being run locally, so it's super fast chain, but just while all stuff's happening super fast, but that's that's the kind of general setup. So um, yeah, I think those are the basic things to go over. Um, if you guys have questions or anything about how this works, want me to go over any other details, add features, anything like that, let us know. But we hope that this is gonna really make the process of making it just, uh, a kind of prediction market much easier, much more efficient. Uh, the process of creating all of your own exchange infrastructure to behind creating a whole user interface for a prediction market is, is quite quite a bit of work and figuring out smart contracts and all that stuff. So we've done all that for you. The Hydra smart contracts are audited and everything. So you're you're pretty much ready to ready to rock on this. So yeah, let us know if you got questions and thanks for watching. Appreciate it.